Good afternoon, everyone, on this frigid day in East Texas. Although 20 degrees is definitely not as cold as the rest of the country, but it's pretty darn cold for Texas. So anyway, today we're just doing a quick review out here in the frigid cold on this sheet metal nibbler. Now, you can find a lot of different uh, brands of these, and this one is just a generic brand from Amazon. And I'll put the link in the description below. But I have been dying to try to find a better way to cut the galvanized, corrugated uh, sheet metal that's the skirting around my crawl space under my house. And I believe this is going to be the tool to do it. So let's give this thing a try. Let's see what the construction's like, see how tough it is, and I'll give you a quick review of it. Stick with us. All right, everyone, sorry for the little bit of noise. I'm right next to my air conditioning compressor, which goes on when the heater goes on. <clears throat> I'm here, we marked out our hole. We're gonna be doing a, uh, installing a crawl space bent fan to try and get some better airflow under our house here. I'll be doing a review on this Elite Air 220 CFM uh, fan a little bit later after this video, but we need to get the hole here in the corrugated skirting first. So first thing we want to do is drill a hole uh, to be able to start our uh, nibbler into. Now, you, as you can see, you can use a half inch or a, uh, a th sorry, a three eighths inch bit, metal bit to uh, do your starter hole. Okay, first impressions. Um, useful tool. It's pretty heavy duty, even for this generic brand. Um, it do, does not work well when you're going over dips and valleys. Uh, can you go over a straight sheet of uh, sheet metal? Yes. Can you turn it really easily uh, on that same plane? Yes, no problem. But when you're going dips and valleys, uh, your drill, uh, you know, this is a larger drill. Maybe if you had a shorter drill, you'd be able to do that, depending on how deep those dips and valleys are in the sheet metal or in the corrugated. In this uh, instance, <clears throat> you can see that the, the vibration, though, from using it against that metal, unless you're really, really solid on the, on the metal and it's you don't have a lot of movement on the metal, it actually uh, vibrates the chuck so hard that it, you can see that it fell out of, of the chuck and I had, to, I had to put it back in there. So that may be a flaw in my drill. I don't know. I love these Ryobi drills and they're, they're really tough. The other one I've had for 11 years, still going strong. Um, but I've never had a problem with my chuck coming loose using any other type of 
uh, implement in the end of the drill, you know, uh, drill bits, obviously, screw, drive, screw bits, other things. So the, that vibration on there, loosen it up, I don't like that about this, but, you know, from, from first use, it is solid. It's very solid. It's very heavy, which is really cool. And uh, besides putting it right back in here, it worked well, and it, would cu it cuts sheet metal so easily. Uh, a lot easier than a lot of other tools. So I, I'd recommend it. I think it's a really cool tool to have in your arsenal, uh, especially if you're cutting out some specific shapes and uh, in the sheet metal. But anyway, pretty cool tool. Grab one. It's 20 bucks. Uh, you probably use it uh, quite frequently. If you've got a lot of metal work to do. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Share the video, like it, tell everybody on social media. Appreciate it. See you on the next video. Bye.